Destiny, thank you. The MicroCat pilot program kicked off today. It will now provide on-demand transit service around Albemarle County. NBC 29's Kagan Hughes shows us how it's hoping to make public transportation more accessible. You might be used to the big normal cat buses, but now these cars will be driving around Route 29 and the Pantops area. But we are now bringing basically about 50 to 60,000 people into the realm of public transport. On Monday, people were able to buckle up and see how it works for the first time. Garland Williams is the director of transit. These are smaller vehicles that can get into less dense um, populated areas like a neighborhood, so uh, giving them an opportunity to relieve those transit deserts, give you an opportunity to increase your mobility options. Donna Price is an Albemarle County supervisor. She says the MicroCat is increasing options to get around and accessibility of public transportation. We will be able to provide safe public transport to people with disabilities, those who would otherwise have a much more difficult time being able to access any other alternatives. Peter Lafford is one of the MicroCat drivers. He says he's ready to fill these seats with people. I am looking forward to actually getting out there and meeting and helping people get where they want to go, do their things. MicroCat is a free ride. It's paid for by a $1.5 million grant from the Virginia Department of Rail and Public Transportation. I think our population will feel more comfortable, more confident, and safer with this service. You can call a ride on the app or on the phone. In Almaro County, Kagan Hughes, NBC 29 News.